Good day, everyone. This is Father Daniel. We are now on day four of our Our Lady of Guadalupe Novena, December the 6th. This is also the second Sunday of Advent, and it's also the Feast of St. Nicholas. And so let us continue to ask Our Lady of Guadalupe to, to help us to protect the unborn, to help our nation, uh, which a lot of darkness around us, but we know that God's light shatters the darkness, and then also whatever intentions that you also bring in this novena. So let us begin our prayer in the sign of our salvation, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearest Mother of Guadalupe, I beg you for a fortified will to imitate your divine Son's charity, to always seek the good of others in need. Grant me this, I humbly ask of you, as I said, for the protection of the unborn and into abortion, and for uh, our nation, for justice and freedom and peace to prevail. And so we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Memorare of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions, on the Mount of Tepeyac, you promise to show your compassion and pity towards all who, loving and trusting you, seek your help and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promise to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Mary, ever Virgin Mother of the true God. Though grieving under the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before you. We fully trust that, standing beneath your shadow and protection, nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to fear illness or misfortune or any other sorrow. O Virgin of Guadalupe, you want to remain with us through your admirable image, you who are our mother, our health, and our life, placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze, and having recourse to you in all our necessities, we need do nothing more. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our, not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I forgot yesterday I said I was going to start giving some miracles before the novena. So yesterday I talked about the heartbeat of the baby inside the image, and so I did not look this morning. Uh, another miracle to show. There's a lot of miracles. Um... Oh, one of the miracles, obviously the conversion of the people was, was a miracle. One of the things I think is interesting as well is um, we know that Arle Guadalupe um, has a couple of things. We know that the image of Arle Guadalupe should have deteriorated a long time ago and turned to dust. It appears on, that, on the tilma, which is made of cactus fibers, the natural lifespan of a cloak made with these type of fibers from, uh, from this type of plant is only about 30 years, 30 years. And so, despite this, it's still there. And that was in the 16th century. Also, we know that there's been a lot of anti-Catholicism that spread through Mexico through various times. Uh, you know, most recently, definitely in the, in the 20th century. If you ever watched For Greater Glory, you, 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 you saw what happened. Um, but it's so when 1921, um, you know, during this was out, the outbreak of, of this uh, latest persecution against the church, there was an anti-clerical radical detonated, detonated 29 sticks of dynamite in a pot of roses beneath the tilma. And the blast destroyed a, a marble rail, twisted a metal crucifix, and shattered windows throughout the old basilica. But what about the tilma? It was untouched. And so uh, it's a beautiful thing. There's actually a picture of the crucifix you can see online that was wrapped, um, that was warped, excuse me, by the bombing. Uh, you can, you can see it. It's all bent over and things, and yet the tilma was untouched. And as I said, the tilma should have, should have deteriorated a long, long time ago, and yet it's still with us because it's miraculous, because it's the image of Mary who always leads us to her son, Jesus Christ. 
May you have a blessed rest of the day. May Mary, the Mother of God, watch over you. Please know that I pray for you, and I beg you, please pray for me.